This is my LNS Technologies Model 150A injection molding machine. It's a very nice system. I really like it a lot. It is a manual pull handle injection molding machine. It does one shot at a time. You put the mold in. It comes standard with this basic vise. You put your mold in here. Then you turn the clamp. Clamp it down, pull the handle, do your shot, give it a second, undo it, pull the mold out, good to go. This system is very simple and it works pretty good. Now, when I first started doing this, I would put in my mold and I would get down and line up the mold. I'm letting this heat up so I can get the plastic off. But you had to line up the sprue hole with the nozzle. And to do that every time, you had to lean down and do it. So what I did is I made my own mold stop with just a couple pieces of wood and some screws. When I lined it up one time, lock it into place, and push the wood with the screw up against it until it stops. And that's your mold stop. So from now on, when I push in my mold, I push it all the way to that screw, and I know that the sprue hole is lined up. <laughs> now, and it works. And I have about 2,000 shots of this mold in this machine with this particular setup right here. It works, and I really like it. But LNS Technologies has an add-on feature that you can get instead of the standard vise they have this vise it's a toggle quick clamp and it comes with a built-in mold stop it's much higher backing than the standard vise so i'm going to mount this on here and uh, we'll give this a shot so i have the new quick release toggle clamp mounted on my LNS Technologies 150A, Model 150A. The one thing you have to do is these threaded nuts here, bolts, where they're nuts actually, they got a uh, Allen screw on the back side, but you ha they, they're mounted here normally with the, the regular vise. And there's four of them. So you have to turn the machine on its side and pull those bolts out and move them over into the single slots. They, they don't line up with the outside. You have to move them in. Then once you get them put in and you put these in, screw them down, you have to move the clamp back and forth to get the right distance for your mold. And so I've done all that. So when I get my mold in and it clamps it down just like that. And I'm going to make a couple shots here. I got some new material. Trexprene. This is a synthetic rubber. It's T TPV. It's what it's called. Thermoplastic vulcanizate. Vul vulcanizate. I don't know how you say it exactly, but it's it's a rubber. It's a synthetic rubber. So I'm going to try to see how that works for my pigtail wedge. I'm going to make a couple of these with this mold. See how everything works out. But I got this mounted, and I want to see how it all works. It has the two screws. So you get the back and forth. It has the high backing for my mold. So that way so you get a lot more of it covered back here so you get more even pressure. It does come with a mold stop. And I've got that all set up too. And I'll uh, put this uh, on the uh, tripod and we'll get a couple shots uh, with the new toggle clamp. Okay, here's the new setup. This is the quick release toggle clamp it's all set up now if you're gonna get one of these you have to keep in mind that the original is mounted with these four bolts on each uh, around it for the original vise so you got to take you got to turn the the 150 you have to turn it over and take out these threaded posts out of this and move it over one into this 
and they are uh, locked in from the back side with a, an Allen screw head. So you get it all locked down, then you get the mold lined up front to back. When you lock, after you, you lock this down after you get the mold lined up, and you have this to get your mold stop set. You lock it down, and we are ready to give this a try. Got my mold. This is my the mold for my pigtail wedge. I highly recommend bench top molds. I'll put a link in the description for that. He does a great job. And that makes this. This is my pigtail wedge. I did one shot just to get everything up and running. So this is good to go. With 420 degrees is what I found is best for ABS, which is the plastic that I'm using right here. Take your mold, slide it in till it stops, lock it down, pull the handle till you get some pressure. That way you know the mold is full. Give it a few seconds. And the LNS has this blinking light right here to let you know that everything's working properly. And uh, I just have found that for ABS and most of the plastics that I use for my mold, if I let that light blink seven times, which is about 14, 15 seconds, that's about all the time I need for the type of plastic that I use in my particular mold is enough to let it solidify, to let it go. And then I fill the hopper, release the mold. Now that's gonna get hot after a while. Now I think I might have that too hot now because that's leaving a lot of material on the top. So we'll do a second shot real quick. Lock it down. Oh yeah, that's much faster than the, the vise. Much better. And then sometimes while it's doing that, I'll, you know, scrape off the excess. My particular mold has an insert that you have to push from the back to get the insert out. Pull that up. Pull it out. I have that insert right here, so I have to push from the back. Push the insert out. Yeah, it's getting warm. And that's how fast it is. Now, I don't know if that'll shave off any time as far as uh, getting everything done, but what it does is the original vise stops about halfway up the mold, maybe a little less than half. But with this new mold, it's got a high backing and this connection part right here hits more in the center. So I think it's gonna give a more even feel around it because I've got a lot less flashing on these than I typically do when I make these. Fill it up again. I'll just do a couple shots here. Yeah, I think I got that too hot now. I'm going to back that down to 400. And with this digital controller, that's how easy this works. You set your temperature, it holds it there pretty good. Now see, that is a lot nicer because you don't have to push it in, crank it down, and because of the high backing, I'm getting a lot better results out of that. That's nice. And of course, you tear off the flashing here on the where the sprue hits oh yeah a little bit of flashing right there but you can adjust the clamping force too and uh, I may experiment with that a little bit but I like that I already did that well I haven't shot it yet there we go Hold it for a second. Mm. 
Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Might as well use what material I got left. I think this particular ABS that I have, almond colored ABS, I even got from LNS Technologies through their store. It comes in these jars. I know I got this from LNS. This is TPE. It's a very flexible rubber kind of a material. This was ABS. I've tried polypropylene. And this was what they call a copolyester gray. Uh, they sold out of this. I guess it was a very popular material. I really liked it too. That was probably the best material that I could find to make my pigtail wedge because it has a very flexible properties to it. But it was very stiff and strong, but it's hard to find it. Can't find any more. And uh, so if anybody out there knows where to find this gray copolyester that they had for sale at LNS, send me a note because I'd like to find out myself. But I'll experiment with all kinds of different stuff. Oh, I didn't do the shot. Well, that's how easy that is. If you pull it out and <laughs> didn't do your shot, then with this quick clamp, the quick toggle, that was just real simple. Put it back in, lock it down, shoot, ready to go. I like that. I'm going to get a lot of use out of this. Like I said, through the original vise, I had about 2,000 shots of my pigtail wedge. I sell this to truck drivers. So I'm using this for a business, not just a hobby, but this would be great for hobby, for students, uh, using it in some kind of a Votech school, or wanted to learn how to do all this. This is perfect. Love the machine. Love the new clamp. I'm going to get a lot of use out of this. I didn't even line that up right. That went all the way over to the mold stop. Now it is. Now I didn't fill the hopper. Now, I didn't fill the hopper, but that's okay because this particular mold that I have and this machine <clears throat> I can get about two or three shots uh, about three shots sometimes four before I need to fill the hopper I just like to fill it every time to make sure I have enough material now see I cooled it down a little bit now it's getting kind of hard to uh, flow into the mold but again that's the good part about this digital just bam knock it up to 410 from 400 it probably did not fill the mold. No, it did. Okay, well, that worked anyway. But you can see it was a little bit harder to do, but depending on the type of material you have, it's going to be a little more difficult. <clears throat> but that is the LNS Technologies quick toggle clamp vice to replace the original. I really like it and highly recommend it. I'll put some links in the notes in the description, both for benchtop molds where I got my mold and for the LNS Technologies quick release toggle clamp. I really like it. Highly recommend it. Thank you.